miracle so great no one is like you there is no one else like you thank you jesus thank you holy spirit and the honor we lift our voice in worship as we praise your holy name you deserve the glory and the honor as we lift our voice in worship as we praise your holy name for you are great you do miracles so great there is no one else like you there is no one else like you for you are great you do miracles so great there is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. Abba Father, we worship you. Barakaba Shakalabo Setede at us. Hey, blessed be your name. Abatadi Kashas Menekelero Sitarashas Like you There is no one else like you You are great You do miracles so great There is no one else like you I worship you, Jesus. I worship you, Jesus. One day, another like you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Adonai. Thank you, Adonai. I give you praise. I give you praise. There is none like you. Yes, Lord, for there is none like you. Our brother Koshete Balane Sendebe Koriabashaya. We come before your throne. We come before you. We bow our soul. We bow our heads in worship. For there is no one else like you. You deserve the glory. Go ahead and bless the name of the Lord. And the honor. As we lift our voice in worship and to praise your holy name, you deserve the glory and the honor. As we lift our voice in worship, as we praise your holy name for you are you are thank you jesus we worship you 
Abaratiso Meleso Barakaria Shikara Barada Sopelenesaria. Be exalted, be exalted, be exalted, be exalted. Thank you, Jesus. Be exalted, Emeredo Shaparalia Satiska. Be exalted, my King. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Bakaroshi Paralasio Merede Savasaya. Like you. Thank you, Father. We worship you in thanksgiving. For truly there is no one else like you. From age to age, from generation to generation. You are the doer of good things and doer of great things. Faithful God is who you are. And we give thanks. Thank you, Lord, for calling us your own. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, we have worshipped. Hallelujah to Jesus. Praise God. I welcome you once again to this hour of prayer. It is the time to connect with God and to engage divinity. It is a time to engage prophecy. It's a time to engage, to say it, the Lord. It is time to engage and it is written. Hallelujah. Therefore, again, I welcome you in Jesus' name. It is a covenant hour of prayer. And I want to believe you are not here alone. I want to believe you have invited someone. I want to believe you have asked someone to join you because it is the hour of prayer. If you have not so done, please quickly so do. Amen. Quickly invite someone, share this page, tell someone it is time, tell someone that the Lord is doing a great thing. Hallelujah. And I welcome you to a new month. Thank you, Jesus. Is God not good? I welcome you to the month of March. Ah, there must be an end. Amen. For everything that has a beginning, there must be an end. Hallelujah. Time does not end. Time will end when God says it will end. Uh, when the earth will be will be will be destroyed, the Bible said, time will end, and eternity will set in. Hallelujah! But right now, uh, God has a covenant with the earth that time must run in the earth. So time does not cease; time continues to run. But time, uh, by God, time even as He gave man wisdom, time is calibrated. Mm -hmm. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 is one of my best scriptures in the Bible. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 tells us by the Spirit of God that God has calibrated time for our benefit, for our good. Hence, there is a beginning and there is an end. And with an end is another beginning. And with an end is another beginning. So it begins and ends, begins and ends. God calibrates time for man. And he calibrates it in seasons. He calibrates it in time. In the circle of of life praise god and it has pleased god in this year to bring us yet into another segmentation of time mm -hmm. we ended a segment of time uh yesterday and today another segment of time have begun so i say welcome to the new month of march god is doing a great thing god is doing a great thing testimonies are rolling in by reason of what the lord has done in last month yes in the last month that just ended it's a leap year mind you hallelujah yesterday was a leap day amen and leap means that there's an addition of time an addition of 24 hours to the original time therefore i welcome you indeed in the name of the lord it is a new month and god is saying something mm -hmm, mm -hmm. he's saying something to us in this new month Hallelujah. Aha, aha. Turn your Bibles with me quickly to Psalm 62 and Agupara Shantele Belesiadas. Openeko Mekoro Sopele Thank you, Jesus. 
And in the next five minutes, as I bring God's word, we will be praying. Amen. We will be praying. Therefore, uh, quickly, once again, invite someone. Invite someone that they may hear the word with you. Invite someone that they may pray along with us. Thank you, Jesus. God is here and I know it. Amen. In verse number 11 of chapter number 62 uh, of uh, number 62 of Psalm in verse 11 the word reads God had spoken once twice have I heard this that power belongeth unto God my God God has spoken once and twice have I heard this God has spoken once and twice have I heard this hallelujah God's word, the Bible said, runs swiftly upon the earth to come to pass. Once he speaks and twice we hear. Mm -hmm. There is a twice or double hearing that we must hear. And twice have I heard him. Yes, for when he says, we hear twice. Uh, the true hearing or the double hearing is the hearing of confirmation. For when God speaks, he confirms. When God says a thing more than once, uh, as it were, uh, it is not saying it once. It's, it's not saying it twice. It is saying it that you may hear it twice. You heard it before and you hear it again. Aha! For the second hearing is the hearing of confirmation. When we hear first, we hear again. Yes, there are two kinds of hearing. Mm -hmm. There is the hearing of the audible voice. The ear of man is created and the brain is created to be able to decode sound when it is made audibly. Praise the Lord. And the Bible tells us that every sound that is made audibly has signification, has importance. Praise God. So the ear, the outer ear hears. It hears sound, wave sounds and the brain interprets the sound that is hearing just like you are hearing a sound from my voice today and your brain is interpreting that sound and you are understanding what I'm saying. The Bible said that when a sound is sounded and the understanding does not come, uh, how can we act? How can we move? Because the sound when it comes, we receive understanding thereof of the sound that is made. But beyond the hearing of the outer ear, there is also a hearing of the inner ear there is a hearing and that is the second hearing there is a hearing on the inside there is a hearing that comes by the spirit there is a hearing that you hear not of the outer sound not because an outer sound came but because a voice in the spirit spoke and you heard my god I, I didn't come to preach. Uh, 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 once has he spoken and twice have I heard. And what have I heard twice? I have heard come up hither. I have heard that your life will move forward this month. In this new segment of time, I have heard by the hearing of the Spirit, for he saith unto thee, come up hither. He saith unto thee and unto thy life and your destiny, come up hither. There is a next level of glory that your life is about to know. My God, we have come to pray and to engage with God. Even concerning this next 30 days, yeah, yeah, baraka, shukalab, for even in these times, things will happen in the nations of the earth. Yes. Even in these times, for there is a saying, even unto God's people, come up hither. Come up hither. There is a movement. The echo of God have gone forth to move your life, to orchestrate things uh, around you, around you, concerning your matters, my God. There is a swiftness coming to push you and to push your, uh, your life, your experiences to the next level, to the next phase of glory. Glory is determined for your life. Glory is determined for your family. Therefore, we have come to pray. We have come to pray. We have come to add our faith to that which we have heard. <laughs> for the Bible said they did not mix faith with what they heard. That is why they didn't come into what was said. 
you didn't hear that they did not add faith to what they had and that was the reason they didn't come into what they had yes so today we have come to add faith to the to what we have heard my god he said i will stand up my watch that i may see what he would say my father when we hear what he has said it is the first hearing and when we see what he has said it becomes the second hearing faith sees faith sees and lambanos it faith sees and takes hold of it even before the physical eyes get to see it my god once has he spoken and twice have i heard it is time to pray position yourself for prayer agatu parashaka even over the nations he will brood in this season over your life he will brood over your destiny there is a movement oh god i know it like i know my name because i have heard twice i know it like i know my name that your story is changing i know it like i know my name that you are coming into a new a new a new experience of glory in your life and everything that concerns you thank you holy spirit help us pray can you ask him to help you pray today a better better uh, prayer is a struggle when the Holy Spirit is not there to help you. That's the truth. And that is why I would always ask you to ask the Holy Spirit to help you pray. So you don't struggle when we begin to pray. So you can pray. So you flow in the place of prayer. Prayer is enabled by the Spirit of God. Oh, yes. Ask him to help you today. To help you pray. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Bakashioto loboroko puriada basai edine ne ne kelege berege ne gede etrobo shopele ne bekeri agada gada rapalito mosho pende kefes. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Help me pray. Help me pray. Help me pray. In the name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed, my Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. He says, "Come up hither." Oh yes, yesterday that word came strong. Come up hither. Begin to pray and the man of heaven that the resources to move you to the next level in this season be released unto you the heavenly resources the divine resources let the angels be mobilized my god the angel of open doors goes ahead of me can you begin to decree that and pray that prayer yes let the resources of heaven the bible said that angels are ministering spirits to the ends of salvation yes in 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 hebrews chapter number one. Oh yes yes begin to demand of heaven let that be a movement in the heavenlies let that be a movement in the earth concerning your career concerning your life concerning your destiny it's a new realm of glory your life is about to emit a new realm of glory can you demand for a release of divine resources demand a release of heavenly resources to make that happen in the earth Irrespective of what is happening in the earth, Ayakata Parabada Shakaya is a new season. It's a new season, my God. Epelete Pakaruba Kuria Katakata, Ezetemele de Bekavakai. My father, my father, I make demands of heaven. I make demands of heaven that there will be a release of divine resources. I, a Paroko Poroko, say, concerning my destiny, concerning my life, concerning my ministry, and concerning my calling, concerning my family, concerning my children, my God. It's a season of movement, my God. Therefore, yada barapa kata ele pereke teke perede bede bede e kopara kaparu kapakata. Let resources be deployed. Let resources, my Father, touch the earth and touch the heavens. Ada da 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 baraba da ba da. Oh Lord, kiss the earth and kiss the heavens on my behalf. Parale kosa my data ikasha kaparole sube e brono zande palakatu paragada in the name of Jesus. Father, I receive the resources deployed for my movement. I receive the resources. My father, the human resources needed. Somebody pray. It's a new month, child of God. Your story will not remain the same. God forbid. Begin to demand of heaven. My story changes now oh tela yeah yeah
Aito Rakabasha, Abarama Pakatia da, Edre de 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 Bakatia Kota, Savle Perico, Baragade Yata Yata. My story changes. Aide Leni Gai Gai, Ide Gedekete Yagadabarasha, Avla Pireko Sekepola, Praia Gadia da Sas, Ventu Pele de Beke, Katushka Paradas, Pelivari Katu Parage, To Aswa Belene, Etia Savi, Agabariso Tevasaya. In the name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Thank you, Lord. Now you are going to prophesy. The Bible said in the book of Proverbs that the power of life and death is in your tongue. In your tongue. In your tongue. It's not anywhere else. It's in your tongue. Now you are going to prophesy to your destiny. You are going to speak to your life. You are going to speak. Address it. Not God. You are not praying to God now. You are speaking as a prophet of God. You are speaking by faith. You are speaking to your life. Speak to your destiny. Speak to your career speak to your resources speak and de- command them to move forward because that is the saying of the lord for the now it says come up here it is a season of movement therefore speak at demand that whatever is holding any department of your life be back be broken now and command demand yeah my life my career you move from where you used to be my god my resources of that that uh, I add many more zeros to my income. Open your mouth and decree. Things are controlled from the spiritual. Can you speak to your to, to your life? Can you demand move forward? For twice as he have I heard, once as he spoken, Nakaba. Power belongs to God. Therefore, I take a I take a gadupa karabade. My destiny, my my life ayakata parabada move now isokotoporo my resources my career my calling na hado take para move adu de 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 yekete e do borobo kono baka ida basata bashabada move my god ai da 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 yakati yaka allah barabakata pakata everything about me move forward the sopele god said to them go forward that is the word of it's a season stagnation ends in my life can you pray can you pray break the power of stagnation the set time is now the set time is now my father aqua para de take no me do agra capa catu ya da satan Somebody pray, somebody pray, somebody pray and colono sikeka a colono bo shakaliada in the name of Jesus move in the name of Jesus Christ, I have prayed. Amen. Job chapter 7 and verse number 1. Job chapter 7 and verse 1. The Bible said, Is there not an appointed time to a man upon the earth? Is there not an appointed time? <laughs> Is there not an appointed time up, uh, uh, to a man upon the earth? And not his days also like the days of an hireling? Is there not an appointed time, my God? And Habakkuk chapter 2 and verse number 3 said, uh, The vision is for an appointed time. I the appointed time is now because we are told in the book of Psalm, he said, Oh Lord, thou shall arise and favor Zion for the set time. Yeah, the appointed time has come. Is that not an appointed time? We are going to say to the Lord, if not now, when? If not now, when? Is that not an appointed time? Is this not the time? Is that not an appointed time? Then begin to demand, my God, can you command time to align? To align align with the word of God and to align with your life and your destiny my God your destiny must happen in time the glory must happen in time oh yes now
now hakaparakata ye etelia radina sasam vapaka begin to demand my appointed time is now oh yes because god can expand time and contract time and i saw that joshua said to time because i am still at work uh, stand still on the valley of ajalon and time respected his voice my god can you call forth your time it is now my time of glory is now my appointed time is now therefore oh my life my life glory shall you know on every side irrespective of what is happening around me it is my time oh god the glory of my destiny it is time for his manifestation it is time oh my appointed time is now my appointed time of glory my appointed time is there no appointed time anymore my appointed time comes now in the name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Matthew chapter 16 and verse 19. And the same was repeated in Matthew chapter 18 and verse 18. And what was said in Matthew chapter 16 and verse 19, he said, Behold, I give unto you the keys of the kingdom. For whatsoever thing you lose on earth, it will be loosed in heaven. And whatsoever thing you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. Yeah, yeah, kaparabashaya. Now you are going to unlock, uh, unlock every good thing in this month, uh, in this new set, this set of 30 days, uh, or 30 one that you have not lived in before yeah but you must go through it god have said this time and this season and there there is good in it there is good in it there is good in it that must come to you can you open your mouth and begin to unlock the bible said whatever thing you unlock is locked is unlocked whatever thing you lose is loose whatever thing you bind is bound open your mouth and unlock the good the good that is trapped the favor that is trapped in the month of March, my God, the favor that must come to you, the good that must come to you, unlock it now. The good that must be your experience, unlock it now. Akatupara, open your mouth and unlock. Open your mouth and lose. Take delivery, my God. Take delivery of the resources that heaven have made available for you. Ayata para badasai. Your life will not go down. Your story will not be the tales of woes, but the tales of victory, of triumph and of joy can you open your mouth and begin to decree and declare i unlock i unlock the month of march it is my month of lifting it is my month of glory i unlock the good in the time i unlock the good in the time I unlock, I unlock every day of this new month, my God. I unlock the good in them. I unlock the favor I must know. I unlock the prosperity, my father. I unlock my provisions. Oh God. I unlock it. Come to me in the very Come to me, my father. I do beside the fire. I get to pray the bekuria the shandel the kuru. Oda da 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 da. Abraya da 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 da. Ede akuriye de bede be ya gede gede bede be ya katapa rapala da bakaria gada bana ba ya gada gada bana etre bede be ya gede 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 bede sha la protesi paravo ozite kaida hata ite paladia para kada bakuria shata eli gede 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 bede be ya katiada la praya gada 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 badia kapara da bana sha ite pere shakata ite pere la si akura sha etina site pere luzu fraka in the name of Jesus Christ we have prayed. 
it was Jesus who said, sufficient unto a day is the evil thereof. Peradventure, you do not know that there is evil in any day and in every day. Oh, yes. There is evil in every day. Oh, yes. There is a day and an hour of evil. You are going to pray the evil that is locked up in this next 30 or 31 days of the month. Is it 30 or 31? Akaparabadaba March. Is it 30 or 31? Akuparabalabakari Adashaya. In this next 31 days. Yes, yes. The evil therein. The evil that the enemy have packaged in these days. They will not come near me. They will not come near my household. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. The evil that is packaged in these next days. The evil on the road. The evil on the highway, my God. It will not come near my dwelling. It will not come near me, my God. The Bible said in Psalm 91, he said, a thousand shall fall by your left. Verse 7. A thousand shall fall by thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand but it shall not come near thee can you pray that prayer god will preserve you from evil god will keep you and keep your home from evil yeah da, 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 da. the evil in the coming days will be far from you my father the evil in the coming days will be far from you my god the evil at the workplace come on there is evil the evil at the workplace the evil on the streets the evil that come to men my father what I shall know will be commendations and recommendations. What I shall know will be promotions and favor. What I shall know, can you pray? What I shall know is lifting. Yeah, for men, when they are crying that there is a casting down, my song shall be. There is a lifting up. Every evil in the coming month, my God, somebody pray. Every evil in the coming months, in the coming days of the month, with my eyes I will see the destruction of the wicked somebody pray the evil in the land wherein thou dwellest the evil in the place where you walk the evil on the road where you tread my father for he said he shall give his angels charge over thee hey Come on begin to pray. There are arrows that fly. There are pestilences that waste. Psalm 91 says so. Begin to demand of heaven. The pestilences and the arrows they shall come near me. The pestilences and the arrows begin to pray yeah the lord will keep me the lord will keep my household the evil in the land will not come near me somebody pray in the name of jesus in the name of jesus christ we have prayed you are going to pray another prayer the bible said yes 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 he said the sun shall not smite thee by day nor the moon by night yes 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 that is the word of the lord you are going to demand the sun and the moon the power of scourging mm -hmm. Hmm. They will not scorch you. Uh, they shall bring their sweet influences upon your life. Uh in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. The sun and the moon, the weather and the constellations and their stars, they shall bring sweet influences upon my life. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Thank you, Jesus. Numbers chapter 23, Numbers chapter 23, and in verse number 23, my God, Numbers 23, and verse number 23, the Bible said, thank you, Jesus. Aha, aha. It is written, surely there is no enchantment against Jacob, neither is there any divination against Israel. According to this 
time it shall be said of Jacob and of Israel what had God wrought. Hallelujah to Jesus. The voices of divination, the voices of enchantment, my God. The voices of false accusation. Listen to me. People have been accused falsely and they lost their jobs. People have been accused falsely of what they didn't do and they were brought to the panel to be judged. Jesus was accused falsely and in their eyes they, they killed him righteously but it was false accusation yes people have been accused falsely and they lost their license with which they practice their profession yes people have been accused falsely and, uh, and the tag of what they didn't do was put on them and they carried it all their life can you pray every voice of accusation can you judge them now there is no voice of enchantment that will succeed in your destiny and over your life and over the life of your children in the name of jesus can you begin to pray every voice that speaketh enchantment to the son you don't understand what i'm talking about how our causes Put on people how a blessings put on people it is by words it is by enchantments it is by speaking oh yes how is divination done it is by words and by speaking can you begin to come against the bible said in the book of isaiah oh yes chapter 54 and verse number 17 the scripture said any tongue that rises up in judgment against thee thou shalt condemn begin to come against every voice of false accusation Accusation, my God, begin to come against every voice of divination and enchantment over your life, over your destiny, my God, over your children, over your household. Can you pray over your job and over your career? Every false, my father, come against them come against every voice that speak it come against every voice that want to bury you and bury you my god come against them judge them now yes judge them now judge them now every voice of enchantment every voice of divination my god People go to altars and they make divinations. They make enchantment. They enchant things into time. Oh, my father. They enchant things. They enchant over the sun and over the moon. That as they rise upon men, things that they have spoken will happen to those people. You don't understand what we are talking about. Can you pray now? They are evil men that visit evil altars. Judge them now. Over your life. Over your destiny, Neketeya gede bede beka, Raswa parali akaba saya, Ipelene sangam doko, O de peketi yagabakuru kote kete kete, Ezandandam dam dika, Over your rising, my God, Every voice enchanted, Every voice, my God, Every Asian gate, Every Asian voice, Enchanting against your rising, my Father, Alataka parabaka, Enchanting against that which the Lord has spoken, Over your life and concerning your destiny, Open your mouth and judge them deny them potency now deny them potency deny them put my father deny them the ability to come to pass it is a new month your life must go up and go forward your glory will shine your glory will speak hey we judge every voice reporting you to higher authorities my god can you judge by the decree of the watchers judge every voice of divination every voice that enchants thank you jesus 
Blessed be your name. In the name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Thank you, Lord. Begin to ask the Lord for wisdom. Ask the Lord for wisdom. The Bible says wisdom is the principal thing. In all you're getting, get wisdom, get understanding. Ah, the Bible said the fullness of Godhead dwelt upon him bodily. It is written in scriptures that the fullness of wisdom, the treasures of wisdom, Colossians chapter 2 and verse 3, that the treasures of wisdom dwelt on him and dwelt in him. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Proverbs chapter 19 and verse number 8, the Bible said, Kaparabadaba, Yetepelebek. He that getteth wisdom loveth his own soul. He that getteth wisdom loveth his own soul. He that keepeth understanding shall find good. He that keepeth understanding shall find good. Can you pray? Can you pray and say, God, I would walk in wisdom. God, I receive wisdom, my father. Wisdom shall guide me. Wisdom. Yea, the Bible says, He that lacketh should ask the Lord. Ask for wisdom. Wisdom in all things. Wisdom for all things. Wisdom to navigate every bend of life. Wisdom to attend to every challenge that is thrown at you in this season. Wisdom, wisdom, my father. Wisdom prevails. Wisdom, wisdom. You will walk in wisdom in the name of Jesus. Pray for wisdom. Makatapara. When you have wisdom, you know what to do. The Bible said in 1 Kings chapter 4 and verse number 30, and Solomon's wisdom exceeded the wisdom of all the children of the East Country and all the wisdom of Egypt. Solomon's wisdom exceeded all the wisdom of other children. Pray for your children. They will have wisdom. The wisdom of God will guide them. Can you pray? Wisdom, wisdom, wisdom to navigate the bend. Wisdom at workplace. Wisdom, wisdom to handle marital challenges. Wisdom, 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 my father. Wisdom to attend to your destiny. Wisdom to make the right choices at the right time. Wisdom, mavakapa, the wisdom of Solomon surpassed the wisdom of Egypt. Egypt was a citadel of wisdom and learning. The wisdom of Solomon surpassed the wisdom of Egypt. Pray for that surpassing wisdom to come upon your life in this season. You would walk in wisdom. You would walk in wisdom in the name of Jesus. Wisdom shall guide thee. By wisdom you will make profit in the earth. Open your mouth and pray. Engage the word of God, my God. It's a new month. Ayala Bakara, time has been calibrated for you. Begin to demand that wisdom will guide you through. Wisdom will give you victory at every turn in the name of Jesus, my God. In your relationships, wisdom will guide you. Pray for wisdom. Wisdom, oh God. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Psalm 119 and verse number two, uh, 22. Psalm 119 and verse number 22. The Bible said, my God, I like to read the Bible. I like to engage the word as I pray. In verse 22, the Bible said, remove from me a reproach and contempt for I have kept thy testimonies hallelujah psalm 119 thank you jesus remove from me verse 22 remove from me reproach and contempt yes remove from me reproach and contempt that because i have kept thy testimony can you pray to the lord can you ask the lord to remove reproach everything that causes reproach everything that brings contempt to the life of an individual everything that causes shame can you tell the Lord, remove shame from my life. Remove shame in the name of Jesus. Remove contempt. Remove shame from my family. Remove shame from my family name. Remove shame, oh God, for we bear your name. Remove shame from amongst us, oh God. Can you pray that prayer? Open your mouth and pray. Oh God, remove shame from me. Remove contempt from me, oh God. In the name of Jesus, everything that causes shame, I will not walk therein. Ikete 
robo kuriya gada gada bara ina vante sele bene kosha idiete kile be kuriya tarara sande bara gada gada vasaya ina nama kaba remove shame from me oh God in the name of Jesus remove shame from my destiny remove shame from my life abato para remove shame from my home oh God remove shame from my lineage remove shame from my posterity remove shame from my father's house remove shame from the life of my siblings remove shame oh God adadada bara bada bataya ba remove shame my father I go I go ideke kata remove shame from us oh God let your glory cover us let your glory cover me let your glory cover us in the name of Jesus Proverbs chapter 15 and verse 21 Proverbs 15 21 the Bible said fully is joy to him that is destitute of wisdom fully is joy to him that is destitute of wisdom uh, but a man of understanding walketh uprightly the bible said in first samuel chapter 25 and verse 25 as his name is so he is his name is nebal so as his name is so he is fully is with him pray and say god remove fully from my life Rem i will not walk foolishly remove fully from me on every side in the name of jesus remove fully from me my god remove fully from me remove fully from me remove fully from me in the name of jesus christ i will not know fully fully will not be my god wisdom i will walk in in the name of jesus yashata mali ekeri adoshka ratu parala bakaraba in the name of jesus now we want to pray you want to pray for your family you want to pray for your siblings now you want to pray for your family you want to pray for madame that is married now it's time to pray for the family you are married into because now you are member of that family now you bear the name of that family and if there is a reproach on the name of that family you will also share in that reproach you are going to also pray for your siblings you are going to pray we are going to engage once again psalm 119 and verse 22 remove contempt remove reproach from my family my god remove contempt remove reproach everything that is reproachable everything that cannot shame remove from us akatara bara can you pray can you engage jandagala gabakariaka yeah once has he spoken twice have i heard can you pray can you engage remove shame oh god yadia parali kamakashaka please pray remove shame from my life remove shame from my father's home remove shame from my father's house can you pray that that the enemy have used to smear your name that that the enemy have used to smear the name my father that the enemy have used to smear your family ask the lord to remove it let the glory of god consume it let the glory of god invade the life of your father's house the life of your siblings sorry the life of your that family wherein you are married yes 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 yeah de, 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 de. everything everything let the glory of god rise let the glory of god rise rise over us oh god in the life of my siblings oh god i pray in the life of my father, extended family, 
in the life of my in-laws, my God. Oh God, remove shame and contempt. Him and us. Oh my father, I feel like praying. My father, let your glory rise over us. Let your glory rise over us. That our lives will know glory, that our families will know glory, my God. In in the name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Jeremiah 28 and verse 4 said, I will break the yoke. I will break the yoke, my God. I will break the yoke. What yoke do we want to break right now? The yoke of debt, indebtedness, my God. So many are living in debt and the burden of debt have kept their lives stressed out in the west yes in america around the world people are living in deep big debt yes you are going to pray that the yoke of debt the yoke of debt be broken that the lord will pull you out of the valley i in the name of jesus christ i'm ask god for wisdom and understanding self-control and wisdom to manage resources are right that is what you need i ask the lord even as you ask that the yoke of debt be broken even as you begin to ask the lord to pull you out out of that pit of death, my God. So many are burdened with that burden. Under the sound of my voice, begin to pray that that yoke be destroyed, my Father. You that is always going and borrowing, can you pray? Can you pray and say, God, give me self-control, discipline. I will not live a borrowing anymore. Can you pray? Begin to pray. What you need is wisdom. What you need is self-control. What you need is wisdom to plan ask the Lord to help you. I hear the ba -ba -ba. Somebody pray. Your life will exhume glory in this season, my father. Once has he spoken, twice have I heard. Once has he spoken, twice have I heard. You are moving up, child of God. You are moving up, child of God. You are not born to stay down. You are moving up, my God. The change is beginning now, my father. Thank you, Adonai. In the name of Jesus. I need you to take five seconds or even less right now. Share this page quickly. Share this page. Invite someone to this prayer feast. My God. It's a covenant hour of prayer. This is the 60th hour of prayer. My God, it's the 60th hour. And the 60th hour is happening on the first day of March. What a mighty God. A, 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 an, a, an inception of a new season. Invite someone now. Invite that person now to this prayer feast. The Lord is here. Isaiah chapter 58 and verse number 11. The Bible said, the Boroko And the Lord shall guide thee continually and satisfy thy soul in drought and make fat thy bone and thou shalt be like a watered garden and like a spring of water whose waters fail not.
Mm. whose waters fail not the lord shall guide thee continually the lord shall guide thee continually can you pray can you pray for divine guidance he says i will guide thee i will direct thee can you ask the lord guide me yes into that investment into that city of wealth guide me guide me into that which i will throw in money and strength as it were that will begin that will become a well that never runs dry can you pray and say god guide me guide me in this season can you pray for guidance he said i will guide thee that is what he said he said i will guide thee i will guide thee and satisfy thy soul in drought in drought your soul will no satisfaction therefore it is inconsequential what the world economy is saying it is inconsequential what the economy of the nation where you are is saying it's inconsequential you can be in that location and your resources are flowing from another nation it is possible the lord says he will satisfy thy soul in drought and make fat thy bones and thou shalt be like a well watered garden that is the lord oh ho, oh ho. can you pray and say lord guide me guide me in this season do you know that you can be in your house yes the world have known traditional jobbing i have a job i have a job do you know you can walk from home do you know you can be in your home and be earning well can you pray and say lord guide me guide me oh god and instruct my soul guide my hand guide my leg guide my feet can you pray for divine guidance because you are breaking out your business is breaking out your life is breaking out into a new level of glory thank you jesus pray that prayer pray that prayer ask the lord to guide you by his spirit ask the lord to guide you thank you jesus i give you praise my time is up i i feel like praying some more but we will pray once more 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 pray Thank you, Jesus. As you ask the Lord to guide thee, begin to give him thanks now. Thank you, Jesus. Kai, Job said he planted my feet. He dipped my feet in, in bother. He will dip your feet in oil in the name of Jesus Christ. Hey, one more prayer we want to pray. We want to say, oh Lord, arise over the nations. Yes, Lord. Arise over the nations. Oh God, arise over the nations. First Chronicles chapter 16 and verse 31. Arise over the nations, oh God. Yes, pray that prayer. Arise over the nations, my God. In this season, a katupara. Oh, kalubere de Arise over the nations. Arise over the nations. He said, let the heavens be glad and let the earth rejoice. And let men say among the nations, the Lord reign it. Let men say among the nations, the Lord reign it. Can you pray? Oh God, arise over the nations. Now is the season. Arise over the nations and let revival break forth. Arise over the nation and let there be a flow. Arise over the nations, my God. Judge the gods of the nations. Judge the gods. Judge the gods. Oh God, judge the gods. para, Like you did in the days of old in Egypt. Judge the gods judge the gods in the land judge the gods that have held the people captive judge the gods that have made the people not to know you and to serve you oh lord arise over the nations arise over the nations oh god that revival will break forth and break out this is the time of the end time move therefore lord move that's what we are saying to the lord therefore lord move move over the land move over the nations move father move oh god move over america move oh god move over africa move my father let, 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 let there be an awakening let there be a spiritual awakening my father let the mountain of the house of the lord be highly exalted above every other mountain can we pray can we pray that the lord will visit the church with fire and with Rain, I with revival with the Holy Spirit like never before. Can we pray that God will visit America and visit Europe? Let the glory of God, yeah, judge the idols of the nations, judge the idols that the people bow to. Let the Lord's hand come against these idols let the lord's hands come against these idols in the name of jesus my god somebody pray
Aïe, ou bidi bidi, yele bela bidi bidi ka, zanzo verarie, we lose the mahagagaga, aguru yegagagaga di, aguru yegagagaga di, umeni o zanzan zanlabi, indeta o sekeli baba kuku, uvuri a share, ego, blan rati kiki, igen uminigo, ugeminigo, kandem de shaha, agwa wa wada ila hakwa, idei dora sasari, ikumni dantila, adei yabari sa, Ikushie hai abrilo storere my father rise over the nations let revival come let the fire ai ubere kata 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 take over that nation take over that territory he said ask of me the hidden and I will give unto thee yademele so ya ha iyo komo shoko bono boko bring the influence of God over that territory bring it over that territory my God. Bind the idols and the demons. Aguane pelekete. Cast them out and lose the people. They will serve the Lord in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, now is the time. Send fire, send rain, send your power. Ako pele de kakatara. Ye vere do shaya. Ayada dimini ye. Let revive our break forth in our churches in the name of Jesus. Let your power come once again. Give him thanks now. My God, I feel God like never before. Once has he spoken and twice have I heard. The power belongs to God. Once has he spoken and twice have I heard. He will do in your life in this season. Oh yes, hear me. In the next 31 days, in the next 31 days, miracles will break forth in your horizon. It shall happen everywhere. You will record, my God, hear ye the word of the Lord. I will do swiftly. I will do swiftly and I will surprise you. For I am the God of times and seasons, saith the Lord. I will do swiftly that your joy may be full. My father, shaka. I see your heart and I know your heart. I will do a quick walk in the earth and thou shalt see my hand and rejoice in the Lord your God. I will visit and invade your spaces. I will invade. I am the Lord and there is none like me, saith the Lord. For when men shall be looking to and fro, when men shall lift up their eyes to Egypt, thinking that there is salvation in Egypt, you shall say that the Lord is my strength and my salvation for your song shall be different say the lord because i in the midst of thee i am strong and mighty i have gone ahead of thee in this season say the lord and i will do as i have proposed even for you and in your life kapa kune sopere desire hey yetetete parabakari adasante lebenesa i will restore joy and your broken bones i will heal say the lord i will bring joy of ajakapa even tears of joy you shall cry for my faithfulness you shall see and my faithfulness you will know in this season i am god and there is none like me ayada parabaka tu parada bakiria vesente lobo sante fire yay you will know joy once again for i take you to the next level even the levels of glory aya parano sheketepe and my goodness you will know my kindness you will know for it is time to favor thee say the lord i the lord i am god and there is none like me say the Lord of hosts. I hear him. Give him thanks now. Give him praise. Glorify the Lord. Your season of joy is come. Give him all the glory. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. I bless your name. Thank you for answers to prayers. Thank you, Lord. Hey, hey, hey. Someone under the sound of my voice is going through something now, more like an investigation or something. Hear ye the word of the Lord. It will end in glory. It will end in you singing and dancing. It will end in promotion, say the Lord. Thank you, Father. Give him all the glory. Give him praise now. He is worthy. Oh, Hadumini Sankalaika. Hideme Sevrosh. Oh, what a sweet thing to be in his presence. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Hallelujah. 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 Do well to share this page. 
do well to send it out and tell whoever you are sending to, please pray along. Pray, pray your prayer that I may pray my prayer. Mm -hmm. Yes, tell the people to pray and ask them to join us tomorrow. Same time. Hallelujah to Jesus. Connect with your friends everywhere around the world. Tell them to come and pray. It's a covenant prayer time. It's, this is not denomination. This is not about anybody. It's about what the Lord is saying in the now. And what is it that he's saying? Let men from different time zones around the world at the same time praying, saying the same things that our hearts may beat as one on the altar of covenant prayer. Invite them and let us all pray. For when there is a people to pray, there is God to answer. Shalom and the Lord keep you and bless you. I'll be with you tomorrow sometime. Bye. Hallelujah.